Missiles attacking airports, Russian armored vehicles entering Ukraine. And thousands of cars lined up bumper to bumper trying to flee the capital city of Kiev. This is now the reality for many as Russia has invaded further into Ukraine. I have never thought that I would live to see this happening at all. Air raid sirens heard loud and clear across the country Thursday. For many in the Ukrainian community here in Winnipeg, it's extremely hard to watch. My hometown, Ivano-Frankivsk, which is 1,500 kilometers from Russia, it was hit a few times by, by those ballistic uh, missiles. This is very painful. Ukraine's main international airport outside of Kiev was the target of an attack. Winnipeg Nikravets' wife's family lives right by the airport. He says most of their family has fled the capital and gone west. My father-in-law in Kiev, he's a bus driver, and his birthday was yesterday. And I found out that about a week and a half ago, he enlisted as a volunteer sort of reservist uh, if something were to happen. Um, so, you know, it's it's quite mind boggling. For Ariadna Dluga, she says she's still trying to process everything that has happened. I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated. I'm worried about Ukraine. I'm worried about Ukrainians, um, especially my family and friends who are there. Um, it's a very frightening and unnerving feeling to not know from one minute to the next what might happen. I had a sleepless night watching all kind of news. Yulia Smerzla says the grim reality of what's happening in Ukraine is horrifying. Some of my friends, they uh, in the morning when they heard the bombs at six o'clock, they were already at the military camp and they uh, uh, all they could do is to show their passport and they got a gun and they signed up uh, as volunteers. Reaction pouring in from all around the world, including right here in Manitoba. Premier Heather Stephenson, Dougal Lamont, and Mayor Brian Bowman all showing support for Ukraine. Manitoba's NDP caucus is now calling on the Premier to help settle Ukrainian families in the province, as now millions are displaced in Ukraine. For Malik, he says he wants to see real action. Sanctions don't work. They didn't work two days ago. They are not working now. They will not work tomorrow. Military help will work. In Winnipeg, Alex Carba, City News.